So I coach Kyle. His name is Hazardous in Game, Hazardous Oof, uh, Hazardous Oof in chat. He, I coached him a year ago. So essentially, it's like a follow up coaching. We're going to see where he's at, see what he's doing. I've actually played against him uh, around 2300 MMR when I was on one of my other accounts. So his MMR has definitely gone up. He does queue with Shmeep. So I don't know which one of them is bringing each other down. And we'll just see how it's going. <laughs> where he's at so we're jumping into this after the start so he's done speed speed backs and instead of going mid he's going low all right so just right off the rip that health pot you popped the second you think you're gonna fight pop that health pot and then the second he commits like he starts fighting back pop the multi-pot so like i wouldn't pop the multi-pot yet because you're winning and it's unnecessary but like as soon as his ability comes out there's one like now like now i'm pulling probably my multi pot right now um so you have your health pot ticking my multi pot is also ticking they'll double tick so it allows you to pretty much just w key anybody with it um also pop your wing shard you pop it now you want to pop that the second that you you know want to get back on top of them oh double kill double kill oh okay not a double kill for you but one and one so those are little things but those will help they will help a lot Highly, highly recommend. I see that a lot, even at high levels. People don't pot early, like going into a fight. They know they want to walk in and fight, but they don't pot beforehand. And then once they're in the fight, they don't pop their multi pots to just double heal. That's a good habit to form. If you didn't do it there, I'm assuming you wouldn't do it if it was like a stressful, you know, 1v1 or whatever early game fight. So you just want to form the habit when it's easy like that. So you're doing it when it's hard. Yeah, that was a clean grab on the hammer, though. You can see we're waiting for it, which is smart. We're not coaching to pat people on the back, though. You coach to remove their mistakes and make them better. Telling someone what they, they're doing right uh, is kind of pointless when you say everything that's wrong. Like, if, if, if I'm going to call it everything that's wrong, then you can assume everything else is right. Just kind of common sense. Their chat. I am in fact doing that's for sure. Yep. Rogue doesn't say anything bad here, right? You're one oh and one. Y yep. Your we're, middle we're tower is under attack. Now the real question is, how are you gonna die to the solo knee? Uh, Where's your thoughts going? How are you gonna die to the solo knee? No, Rogue's, Rogue's like talking while he's recording this. This is you hear Rogue from before, not now. You never say bad words. I don't, I don't mean bad words. I mean words put together that would be bad. Oh, you hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. I don't think this is the worst thing in the world, especially after the nerf to golden shard. But I still think golden shard is better than wing shard. Your wing shard had no impact on your early fight. Your golden shard automatically will have impact on your clear time. So I, I still think Golden Shard is better than Wing Shard. Uh, All day, every day. On top of the fucking lethal, because this. Wait, everybody has deeds? No shot, right? Well, it's got double buff. It's got constant. You don't count. Airy solo? What the fuck? He is a beater. He's another set of deeds, basically. Yeah. Your team that comp is actually good. crazy. Naja support, Ranger? Thoth mid, Ares solo. Uh, Voodoo Ranger? What the hell? Uh, he only, uh, uh, Sturz is in there too? Goodness uh, gracious. You got a drinking problem, man. What do you mean? This is the first time I've drank today. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, sir. Rogue does have a drinking problem. It's so funny. The other day he joins in, he's popping a buzz ball. I don't have a drinking problem. Did I just hear him crack open a beer or something? What the hell? Uh, for whatever reason, I get fired. I can say that I'm a good drinker. All right. Yeah, buzz ball, bro. 
What's up, Floyd? Be back right away here. Yes. Okay. Kyle's Kyle's got it down. Rogue yapping. Rogue does yap, bro. Every day, Rogue has a new story that he's got to tell and talk about. Every day. And if he doesn't have a new story, he'll tell you the same, like a different part of the story from the day before. <laughs> I'd never even heard of a buzzball till worlds. Still haven't had one. All right. So while you're clearing here, backpedal to this. So, you know, even five steps, whichever way is going to make you get to the lane faster. That could be the difference between you making it and killing or not. This is actually a fat kill for you. You commit to this. Nice, that's good. So I'm, if I'm you, I'm, and I just had that kill, and I know Thor just went on this guy, so he's probably not in the best position to fight. I'm running in to check their buffs, because a lot of the time junglers are not clearing speed red ba or speed back, speed red back to blue. They're doing blue and then working backwards. So if you catch him at blue and either you don't steal it, you poke him or you annoy him, you can take backs for free, and then you can contest the the red speed if your thoughts will follow or if you just feel safe doing it. Because it's, or flip side, you rotate here, you check blue, you rotate in the mid, you get mid camps, and you get you back farm your two camps um, instead of running underneath here and just moving a lot and not farming a lot. You're the same. How? Well, how? Hmm. Okay, so say you are on the same timers, you just cleared backs. While you were doing backs, he ganked. So that means his backs are up, and that means his speed and red are coming up. And you're also playing one of the best steel gods in the game because you have crit and you have a ranged one, and then you have a knock of immune dash. You're also fast as shit, and you have blink. I do hate that you have blink over beads. I think blink early on Mercury is dog ass. I, you know, you get away with whatever, you know, it happens, but consistently beads, especially since their comp, Geb ult. You get an Agni stunned, Thor stunned, uh, Geb stunned, whatever, Neath ulted, you're just done. You don't get to play the game. I'd say if they have more than one stun, so two or more stuns, I'm going beads every time. And if the stun they have is an important stun, like something easy to hit, like an Ares, or maybe not an Ares because I can ult the Ares, but if it's something that's just going to be really annoying, like a Thor, maybe a Thor alt, I'm probably going to go beats. And like here, so when you're walking in here, if you, you really want to go over this Agni kill, you're blinking over and trying to catch his dash instead of looping around here. I would just pry, pry like you see HP too. So you're either going to commit to this guy or this fight is shit. Right, or there's no reason for you to be here. So if you didn't want to blink past these guys and go on Agni, then just don't come to this fight. An enemy has been you could be farming, you could be doing backs, you could be doing anything instead of putting into yourself in a position to maybe die, uh, standing around not doing anything. Sounds small, but you just wasted 10, 15, 20 seconds. Um, you could be farming. You just got to decide right away to be like, I'm doing this, or you know, I'm not. Oh, you could have waited here. Blinked on top of him, killed him, and dashed out. If you, off missing that all, if you just stood on the tower line for that one second, you could have blink killed him instantly with your blink two or two blink auto auto dash out. He's dead. You're a big fan of beads, Aegis on Merc. Yeah, I am too. I don't mind blink late if you're able to get in and one shot people. Uh, consistently beads for sure. Egg is probably more consistent than blink. Blink is a play making active. You're eight, seven and a half minutes in and haven't used it yet. It's kind of like the reverse of when people go transcendence first in the jungle and they get no cooldown for 15 minutes. Like you have no beads for no reason for 15 minutes. Maybe 10. What's up, Davinsky? I'd also not put that ward there. I'd put the wards deeper in the jungle. Back at the green, back at the path through speed, back towards the, the mid lane um, entry, like in this area. I like those wards and those wards are just more valuable. You're um, 
you're able to to play based on where they are rather than seeing somebody you know ganking the lane heading straight to the lane and then you have to run across the whole map and you're definitely just gonna be late easier to counter gank when you know what side of the map they're on and where they might go especially since a lot of the time they'll be in a straight line running where they want to gank and you're just like oh here they come Oh my gosh. I got a nice steak. Rage OP. Yeah. Yeah. Why does. Is that mentally? Whoever that was, why do they sound like the dude from The Simpsons? Enemy missing. Oh, that was Tanner? Bro, why did he sound like the guy from The Simpsons? able to free farm with no pressure you have almost two level lead hold on you just trolled right here if you have golden blade you clear this faster it's nice so you're one you know you're you're one creep away uh you need to go in and make sure you get this whole wave you're you're literally like was this two or three creeps away from getting level 12 and having beats and instead you back you don't do this ever make sure make sure you're taking this wave all day long i think you only need the melees too so you don't need a little wave now you're in a weird spot where you're gonna walk out of base and get level 12 instantly and the smart thing to do would be to get beads again but you're losing so much time with no real you know, like like great back farm like you could do this and then wait for back get your thing wait for speed i guess but it, it's awkward Enemy missing middle. <laughs> oh this guy's dead as shit An enemy has been slain. assist wait This gives you 45 gold and like three creeps worth of XP. Just so you know. In terms of value. Like, and I don't mean jungle creeps, I mean lane creeps. So you know about that kind of stuff for rotations. Yeah, you bought your wing shard one good time this whole game. Go golden shard. You didn't even pop it there. Which I thought you were going to pop and uh, melee him down and then try to three him out of his roll. But you just got to eat the ult and regular auto. So just go go golden shard. You want your farm out of any roll, any carry roll, to be as optimal and as fast to 20 as possible. And you're as... A, oh my god, he caught his dash. And his beads. Holy fuck. You're being handed kills too. You've been handed a bunch of kills this game. <laughs> Like you're definitely doing it right landing your all whatever you're playing right but it's not like you're going out of your way to make the play you're kind of just ulting in and being given a kill oh, so yeah, yeah. Habibi, Hamoud, you definitely would get more value out of golden shard <laughs> you popped it for movement <laughs> uh, golden shard is just still good if you add up the time over all the creeps you clear or even if you clear a wave like it it goes a long way Every second of time you can gain in, in smite is important. Think about how people min max in other aspects of life or like video games or whatever other video games. When you play smite, it shouldn't be any different. If you're trying to get better, like min maxing, saving time, putting it towards something else is always going to make you a better player. So smacking, thank you for the 19 months. Uh, I don't even think you need beads there, I'm gonna be honest. It's not a bad beads. 
I probably would have risked it. And then if like Geb got close enough, then you could have just beat and run away. You're huge, bro. You're level 15. Personal opinion. You're up 11 to 5. You're up 4,000 gold. You are the highest level in the entire fucking game. You have not actually been forced to kill the geb once you killed him once because he passed like a dumbass they have a knee solo rushing serrated has very little value if any right now finish the deathbringer get your guaranteed crits then work on your serrated All fan challenge. I played a game at the start of the stream with my left hand, mouse in my left hand. It was very, we won, and I actually had a decent score line, but it was rough. I felt like an idiot. Oh my gosh, what is this Swagney doing? Okay, this is an overkill in your ult. I probably ult that too, so I'm not gonna blame you, but definitely overkill in the ult. Mebo, you're pilled. You're doing the the look down shit still, dude. I still have another two weeks of taking this medicine. Move. Yeah, move. Get behind you. You probably turn on the Geb. Nice. Toss the Geb. Ooh, you would have been stunned anyway. Doesn't matter. As soon as that Thor was gone, you heard Geb behind you. You should have turned around on him. Because if you caught Geb out here and tossed him back even farther, you, he dies and it's free everything. Challenge gonna be on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Best thing you can do in a situation like this. So All right. This is where I was saying if you had turned instantly, I mean you turned, you reacted. It was just if you could have reacted instantly, it would have been better. So fuck that. That doesn't matter. Uh, right here, the fight's over. You should be able to process this. 60% under the tower, full HP gap. There's nothing happening here. Leave. Leave. Poking, dope, fantastic. Maybe some crazy stuff out of the store. This is leave. Done. I don't even mind the one after. This is where you are done. Leave here. Call the gold while you're calling the gold, Fury. Go farm. Midwave, oracles, they're back, they're green. Farm everything. Instead, you do green, which is great, and then you go back to fighting. Fuck your team, bro. I can't tell you all enough. If you watch the top-level players play Smite right now, their only goal and the only thing they care about is whatever gets them to 20, full build, the fastest. Sitting around with your four teammates jerking off on a tower line is not going to get you there. Uh, your Ares is also one health. Your Dodge is at half. And if they're still fighting, you're not doing gold. You, you know gold's not going to come out of this. You looping in here is just wasting time. You don't need to be here for this. You could be farming. You could be level 17 right now. Maybe even pushing 18. You could have the mid Phoenix or mid tower. Sorry. You could have the fucking Bastion. Every time I've coached, everyone wants to hover around and help people too much. Stop helping your shit teammates. Yeah, he's calling gold. He can call gold while farming. He doesn't need to call gold and stare at his teammates. He can farm. Call gold as a, hey guys, let's go to gold. And then when you see your team start going to gold, then you start going to gold. You don't go wait for them at gold. Because if you are, what's going to happen is what just happened. He, no gold fear, your teammates back out. Just farm. When your team finally starts moving towards it, then you go fucking do your shit. Okay. Blue here is bad. Uh, yellow or red, your choice. Blue at this stage, pointless. Blue early game is sick because you get an extra ult or two. 14, 15 minutes. Yellow or red is going to have way more value. In a game like this, yellow, you're not really fighting through poke or having like, you know, to the death battles. So I'm going yellow all day. You're playing Mercury too, and now that they added lifesteal back to objectives, if you, like, you are ahead. You are the highest level in the game by three fucking levels, right? You are so far ahead that if you keep this pace to 20 and get your items online during that because you're farming correctly, you can solo the fucking objectives. 
if you stand around waiting for your teammates to do everything then you're gonna fall not behind but they're gonna everyone's gonna you're gonna even out for the game and you're not gonna be able to just solo objectives i'd walk in and hit this tower you don't need to walk in and hit that tower bro it's 91 hp walk in and hit that tower all day Oh my goodness, these guys are bad. Oh. Maybe you could use that blink for once here. Walk in and hit the tower, damn it. I think you just saw Agni. I like that you didn't start committing to that early. Okay, you gotta rush that. Yeah, never go blink again, by the way. Because you're ulting in here when you could just be blinking in. Uh, rough dash. You should have just kept autoing. You might die here because your ult isn't up to run away. Still have your blink up. Dash blink, dash blink. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. We're gonna break this down. This is dog shit. Um I'll be honest with you. So this tower is one auto attack. Right, one auto attack. Then let me go back to this fight. They see you. You don't want to walk up. You get a nice little poke. You hear Thoralt. Go realistically going deeper here is crazy risky. You could have walked into that tier one where your Ares is for help. Uh, you do have beads and all, so that Thoralt really isn't that scary. But you're just putting yourself deeper in the lane. Now you hovering here is troll as fuck. You're level 17. He's level fucking 14. The knees is also level 14. Just fight somebody. Use your blink. And fucking fight somebody. This Geb doesn't matter. And once again, you could walk up and kill this tower anytime you want. You don't even need the creeps. I do, like I said, I like that you didn't go in here. I hate that you ult this. I fucking can't stand that you ult this. There's just no reason to be ulting this. Not only do you miss, you could have just walked up and blinked. Your Ares has chains on this guy. That Geb just used a bunch of abilities. You still have all your actors up. You're in a really good spot. And then here, you, I'm assuming this is like a panic three or something because the fight's kind of getting butchered and you haven't played it great. You don't three here. Your three when you're surrounded by three motherfuckers is used to get out. There's no one else here on your team. Your three hits for like 80. You don't want to be standing still against three fucking people. You're never dashing a human, or a, a god, a human being in this. You're never going on anybody here with your dash. You should have just kept autoing. Use your three to dash out and get some range. You've also now bees use all your actives. Decent jukes. You said bluestone kept you in combat here. I wasn't even talking about the bluestone. So right here, your dash is up in two seconds. If you walk in a straight line, dash this way or that way, and insta blink, you're out of the fight and you live. Instead, you looped and you died to the three. If you'd have walked here, his three first of all never would have hit you. You would have three away, greater distance, that blinked out. You've been gone. You're faster than him in a straight line. All day, every day, you're faster than him. So you could have lived there. You play that fight really, really, really bad. You need to not go this blink or you need to start using this blink and use saving the ult for longer ranges, re-engages, uh, ults out, whatever it may be. What are you even doing? I think you also, hold on, let me jump back. What? Yeah, you're also looking to force a dumb fight where you have a full fucking item. You're not playing for level 20 and farm and min maxing. You're playing like, I must get kill. Can you just AFK under the tower? All right, we already saw that. Let's go back to farming. Good. You're almost level 20. Good. You're still going to be the first one to 20. You're still three levels up, or I guess two and a half levels up. You're in a position where you can do pyro by yourself. Um, your team is fighting right. Your dude is 1v1 in left. The difference is your dude in left has a global ult to go wherever he wants. Your team in right is full committed to melees. If you aren't going to get tower here, bash and tower, which is 200 gold for you, 250 gold, a lot of fucking gold, you should be either soloing pyro or you should be fighting this. Uh, in that order, once you reach the mid lane. So, rates. 
I go back too far ahead though. Right about here, I'm thinking this Nanja's in a bad spot. Maybe I can do this pyro. We'll see. About here, I'm thinking pyro is definitely doable, but where's their team? I see Agni now. This dude's still in a terrible spot. Am I gonna have to help him? Then here, I see Marty over here. I'm thinking tower or pyro. If Ares goes to this, maybe that fight. In that order. One, two, three. Those that's like this is free. Free gold, free everything, free pressure, free farm, free level 20. This is should be free as long as the nausea doesn't insta die, which he shouldn't because you're tank. And then the fight could be good if they make a play. Uh, so you're watching that fight from a like a range. Like while I'm clearing this mid lane, I'm looking at what's going on over there and looking at health bars. I don't care about this. This is he's up two levels already with a global ult. This is a fire giant. There's no gold fury up. So this fucking at, this, at no point would I think I'm running across the whole map not farming anything for no fucking reason. Uh, how far do you make it? You make it all the way over here. It's a little more mind blowing to me that I'm seeing that this Marty somehow wins this fight. But you, this is your dude. Just you can't babysit your your teammates like this. Your dude's just bad. He could have just ulted out whenever he wanted. So what's wild is your team in right killed somebody. So they're a man your team's a man down and right and they they really they won in their terms on this fight this is a 2v1 and you trade right it'd be better for that dude to die you guys to full stomp this side of the map and just get the objectives that's so unfortunate there's so much chasing going on it's good for you to get the wave though and be aware enough to do that you should check their purple and their green it's like where are you going right now you could have looped high and checked buffs always check buffs always have timers and you could have pathed in high and looked for a fight if you, that's what you want to do while also checking timers and getting more farm. You run across the whole map way too fucking much. If you were playing a god that didn't have movement, like it wasn't Mercury, it wasn't a Wheelix, you would be losing just unreal amounts of farm. Oh, is there no... Was there no protector at this, this time? Whoops. Okay, Protector's not in the game during this game. I definitely like Protector more than Seer, especially lower level games. Nice job, that's big. Good shit. Okay, that's a waste of beads, my boy. Come on. Come on, Kyle. You saw... You literally kill him because he dashed. He dashes. Your, your mind goes, oh, now I get a free kill. Should I be doing... At this point, you know he's about to stun you, but you also know he has 30% HP. You have your aura Naja behind you, your aura Ares behind you, and he's got no movement. He can't go anywhere. You could save your beads for Gebalt or something else, or if the fight continues or the team collapses on you. No. Uh, instead, you use it to make sure you secure a kill that's already secured in my mind. No, don't worry about it. Like, if you're bored and you want to do a dungeon, you can. Like, it's not going to hurt. Hurt you, but you want to just try to get to monolith pretty cool, pretty much as fast as possible. What are these fights? Because you're not even doing anything wrong here. What is happening? I guess you're. I wish I could see your your team's items. Your nausea looks like he's tanky as fuck, and he's also pretty farmed. They're being out of the game. Protector's not out of the game anymore. They brought it back yesterday. And you want to do every single Does your team play. auto lock nut? Yeah, what? Like, That's not in ranked. Why does everyone think that the patch yesterday was a real, like a, a full patch? It was a nerf patch. It's the mini patch that I they do. I think everyone forgot about it. I've heard so many people think that nuts in ranked. Good blink, finally. What? You kill him, okay. That's crazy. Did you hit him for three? Holy shit. Your nausea's in such a bad spot. What are you even doing? Here comes the surrender. That was good. So you just keep playing around your one here. Yep, you're you're literally playing this perfect. Nice. What's your sensitivity, Kyle? I think it's too high. I'm like pretty positive it's too high. 
Nice job. That was really good. That, you played that fight correctly. Wait, what's his sensitivity? Yeah, you need to... I don't know what your DPI is too. You need to get definitely lower. You over swing. I'll show you. Just an example. Um, back here. Oh wait, it's right here. Fuck. So you actually like 180, kind of right. You under swing here, but then you over correct to the left. Uh, I mean, you've done it earlier if you watched. You'll like, you're you're now. If you're in game and you could do like a full 360 on your mouse, like with one, like you can just go with 360, your sensitivity is probably way too high. Um, realistically, like a 180 ish is what you're, you should be doing comfortably. What's up, Bubba? Thank you for the 13. Oh, ye main? That's kind of filthy, dude. Best team fighting assassin, Susano. Susano's ult is one of the best ults in the game, period. Not just assassins. Yeah, Shrep, if you and someone else wants to queue, I'll be down. We'll probably do it like two games or something. Have I played League of Legends? Yes, when it first came out. And then last year I played one game, I think. Two years ago I played one game. I think it was two years ago we played one game. Your Thoth is doing some crazy shit. He just missed. You hear Thor alt. You hear Thor alt. So stay spaced. Yep. Quick tip for Thor alts. So you know he's in the air right now. Um, I'll look in the air to see where people are looking. I'll never stare at the person once I know where they're looking. So you looked up and didn't even see them. So looking up anymore is pointless. Look straight like you would if you wanted to fight somebody. And then react to the circle on the ground, not him flying out of the air. So this circle, if you, I wish I could go back like a second. What are we at? 27? Yeah. So the circle's gonna show up and give you time to react all day. So you can't even really see the ground because of your angle. Just look normal. The second you see that, you're hitting beads. The second this circle shows up, you're hitting beads and fighting him. Or using, if you're playing another god, using a, a jump ability or something to dodge it. Instead of eating it. That way you're not eating any of that damage other than the ult and you're instantly beating his ass. It's just, it's like a, you know, gain 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds off. It's a really big deal. It creates a lot more pressure for your end. God damn, you're crazy. This is good. You know, not the chase. Go do the backs, check all the farm. Check blue. Yep. 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 Thank you. Check blue. Yes, sir. This is good. I do not like wind demon ever anymore after the nurse. Uh, with rage death bringer and death bringer upgraded, you don't need any more crit. Um, <sighs> it's definitely preference and depending on how the game is going, but you could go blood forge in that slot you could go if you like, i really don't think another crit item is necessary um you could go more pen in that slot you can go a defensive item in the last slot if you can go protector since there's no protector when you played this game since it's back now but it wasn't in the game 
Uh, probably no defensive slot, but with protector and a defensive item, you pretty much don't die. I'm not really a huge fan of dominance on Mercury. I actually think it's kind of bad. I'd probably go Titans main over dominance all day long. I'm trying to think. Or Hydras if I'm looking for a one shot. Um, I really am not a huge fan of dominance. Oh, for late game fights, they're usually so slow that you're playing off of your one's poke. So the dominance, like, you're just not getting a ton of value out of dominance. And then if you are playing off of your ult, your ult's going to hit even harder off the, the Titans main proc. I mean, that's going to that's gonna slam. It's going to be a lot of damage. And then you're still getting cap pen. Um, you go dominance if you're playing around autoing a ton. You're not Mercury. Mercury's goal, realistically, is three autos. You kill a squishy in three autos. Don't need dominant like like that. It's just if you're in there anymore, that attack speed is is you're probably dead. And the attack speed's not getting used. What is considered peel? Peeling is keeping somebody off of your teammates with your body, your abilities, your actives, whatever it may be. It's keeping people from hitting your teammates. Bloodforge is also very, very good. So I'd probably move Bloodforge to this slot. And then Titans Bane to the last slot. Or Hydras. If in a game like this, I'm going Hydras. They have one tank. And it's Geb. So you already don't want to hit him because of his passive. I'm going Hydras and I'm trying to one shot. You're going to play off of that like 1300, 1400, 1500 crit. And then the second auto killing them. So you would two blink auto or you would ult them and auto oh my goodness what is your ADC doing I like that you didn't full commit you need to wait and let more abilities get used and let more people engage or you're just gonna get targeted all day Cran great, bro, not Cran Apple. Good ults. Really good ults. Talks you die, but it was actually a good ult. Your team did overcommit there. Too many abilities were used. You upgraded this so fucking late. Holy shit. Upgrade this right away for the love of God. Upgrade this right away. In a game like this, too, Ma Bloodforge Magi's uh, would have been the appropriate, or even um, all right, Magi's Bloodforge would have been the appropriate. I want to win items because they have five stuns that is his discord notifications yes another thing you could have looked to do in a grouped up fight like this i'm not looking to sh to alt and auto I'm looking to ult through, turn around, and one, and then play off of that. I never want to be in the center of a fight without knowing what abilities are down. So ideally here, you ult further. I think you hit, I don't even know if you hit the wall. You might hit the wall if I don't, wait, did you hit the wall? Can't even tell. No, you don't hit the wall. You, you ulted this, you, you short ulted this. Ult through about here. One while S keying, like looking at them, backing up that way, and wanting them, and then you don't get Thor dunked. Or if you do, it's just the Thor dunk and no other follow up damage. Um, and you can kind of live and play the game more in your control. Yeah, I'm I'm never ulting. So like for a gank, you want to ult right on top of them, so you can just start autoing them. In a team fight. Unless you know what abilities are down or you're you know, you you know, you're safe for whatever reason You can't really do that if you had magi's too, you just walk away from that fight and you don't die You get the kill still and you, you just walk away 
Magi's is honestly one of the best items in Smite. And it's just not a super fun item. So nobody talks about it or wants to build it. Using the seer here to clear fire giant is super valuable for your team. Oh, never mind. Team's fighting. Yeah, you, okay, so you short alt a lot. I, I would all be ulting through these fights where I can't really see what's going on in the back. Glad you got that kill. You should die there. The, just the Neath alone, you know, while you're autoing, if the Neath autos you three times, four times, you should be dead. Mad Ice, I mean, you just report them with your video proof on the website. What's up, Nero? What you been doing, brother? Good blink, yes, sir. Unfortunately, hit by that. But that was. Wait, is he gone? Oh no, he's in a bad spot, dude. Just kill him. This is free now that his one's down. As soon as his one miss, you should have been running at him. He's just dead though. It doesn't matter. This guy's trash. <laughs> All right, that was interesting. I'm assuming that's the game. Oh, it's not the game yet. That's a good all. Using the walls of backstop is perfect there. GG. That's definitely the game. You win. Holy shit. 17, 2, and 8. And what's wild is you were in a position to even play better. Even though, despite having 17 kills, you. I wouldn't say you made a ton of mistakes, but you made some mistakes. Wait, do you guys throw this? Okay, I would have cried. I would have cried if you guys somehow threw that. You don't show damage to you. No, GG. GG.